Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be looking at this exponality NAS that I tried to set up down here uh, pretty far back um, with 48 drives in it actually 54 drives but I kind of ran into a stopper and and I had been working on this for so long that it I was getting bored of it so I took a break from it so um, but today I thought maybe we should go back and see what uh, what came up and maybe some of you guys out there would be able to help me on this so right now I turned on the exponology NAS uh, actually it has been on for, for a little bit um, but let's go see the computer what um, what is happening okay in here at the computer I have put in the IP number for the exponology NAS out there so if we press hit enter on that it will start loading but this is the loading screen from when you try to install a brand new NAS and um, well it should be a working NAS out there so here we get the welcome screen uh, you can install your drives that's not what we want I have the um, I think that maybe I didn't wait long enough for the drives to come up before I turn on the server so this I don't know I think we'll go try and turn everything off again and then we'll turn on the two drive shells and then after a little bit we'll turn on the server so we'll try and turn off the server there that is off and I'll uh, turn off the two drive shells okay that's around the back I have to turn them off here and over here so now everything is off I'll just check the cables while I'm at it just make sure that the SAS cables are in there good and that one goes in here there. That should be good. So let's turn everything on again. You will notice that I have some of the power supplies that are not plugged in. Um, I'm just using two power supplies in each of these shells. Um, that should be sufficient the top one does not even have four power supplies it's only the bottom one that has four power supplies an idle power supply uh, does use power that's also why I'm only using one of the two controllers uh, just to um, to not have it use as much power okay so around the front here these discs usually go through some kind of a power cycle test thing. Uh, I haven't seen that yet. Maybe I was still on the back of the array when they did that. But I'll give them a little bit to make sure that everything is good before we turn on the server. Okay, it has been a couple of minutes. So I think we'll try and turn this on now. Then it turns on. And I'll be very interested to see if the rate controller goes in and, and sees all these drives. Actually, it's not a rate controller, it's an HBA. It's kind of a rate controller too. So the server is booting. Everything looks good down here. Okay, server has booted and the exponology has loaded. Um, I don't know, it looks very quiet down here but I'll go see the computer if it's the same thing yeah it's the same thing something is going on it's not seeing those discs what does happen if we try to uh, it doesn't see the the DSM operating system at all uh, even though there should be a lot of discs in there 
Hmm. And it does also have a local disk. That should be working too. Well, I might have to try and install this again. It's not that cool when it does something like this. Let's try and run a manual installation here. Manual browse. Let's see, download. I have a lot of crap in here, but I do have this one that I think is the right one. Open, install. All data on the hard drive. Oh, that's a lot of hard drives. Um, so it does seize a lot of hard drives, but why doesn't it use them? Weird. Let's see what happens. And we are rebooting. And we're not gonna wait for that. So we'll be right back. Hmm. Okay. 10 minutes at booting and it's not even done. Uh, let's see if it maybe has gotten a new IP number or maybe it just wasn't done after 10 minutes. Um, hmm. Setup. I thought we were just here. Well, let's see how this goes. If it's better this time. If it's able to connect. Should be, no. Up there. Okay, focus. Well, these disk shells has these two numbers. The top one is number two, and the bottom one is number one. And and as I have connected the server to the top shelf and then the bottom shelf, well, maybe then I have to um, pick another order. So this will be number one, and this will be number two. I have no idea. I'm not even sure that these numbers does anything else than just tell me that, well, what number of the shelves has. So, well, but we are gonna try that. I'm gonna try and and change the number on, on the top one here. Let's see if we press the button. This one will blink if we press and hold it again. This one will blink. And then I can pick another number by pressing there, number one, and then we will press and hold, and that is selected. So down here we will change that to number two. Well, it is doing something because it found a conflict. So yeah, down here we'll change it to number two. there so now this is two and this is one and both of them are pissed off at me mm. so this probably does have an effect so maybe 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 we should put that back okay I took that back and it um, it's not pissed at me anymore. So, remember, what I think I'll do is I'll go around the back and I'll take the cable that goes from the server and into the top box and I'll switch that around so it now goes into the bottom box and then goes up to the top box. Mm, so that would be one and then two. Let's see what that does for me. Okay, that is done. I did see that all the lights didn't come on at the same time. I, at first I thought that this roll out here was there was something wrong with it and then all of them turned on so apparently it goes this, this, this and this uh, to, uh, to boot up the drives. Probably to not draw too much power but yeah we'll give it a couple of minutes and then turn on the server again. Eh, eh. I did actually rescue a lot of SAS cable that was going to the trash at work. So maybe for the future I would have something good here. I uh, don't see what I was dreaming about right now. These are 
I want the one with the short connection in one end and the long connection in the other end. Mm, don't see that. These are all the short ones. Yeah, and these are 12 gigabit connectors. Well, we have those over here too. Oh. They are down here. These are EMC cables or Dell. And these are the new 12 gigabit connectors. So, well, the new standard. I don't know if they're only 12 gigabit, but I know how expensive these cables are when you need one. So when a whole bunch of them was just going into the trash, well, <clears throat> that's when you pick them and then you find somewhere to store them. That's And that's often the big problem. Where do you keep all these cables that you rescue? Okay, it has been long enough. So let's turn this on. Server is booting. Awesome. Yeah, this is the problem. I've already rescued so many cables that they don't fit in the box. Uh, oh, but the server has booted, so let's go to the computer and see what it sees. I found the cable that I was looking for. It has this small connector in one end, which goes up into the rate controller, and it has this big connector in the other end which goes into the storage shells so we can try that next so let's try that again welcome back uh, we have detected the hard drives of your has been moved from a previous mm, okay let's oh we can do something new we can reinstall Migrate. I think we will migrate. That that's that sounds decent. Uh, install now. Okay. So um, I guess we'll be doing this again. Okay. I must admit this screen is starting to irritate me. Search manually. Find Synology.com. Let's see if it should find the old one. Oh, it did also find the new one. So why didn't it just? Get to that. Yeah. Okay, I'm not getting very far. Okay, I didn't get that. It came up and said that I needed a newer DSM than the one I had. It had to be newer than 15210, I think it said. Uh, so now we can try and migrate it, and see if we are lucky. I have uh, been out there and I have turned off the server and I have disconnected all the drives, so there is only the two hard drives in the in the physical server right now. So I'm hoping that will go okay. Let's see if, if that works. And in the meanwhile, I'll start another video because this takes a while and I've already done a lot of work in here in the living room. Okay, so I installed the newest DSM from the internet. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's see what it comes up with. I'll call this again my playhouse dash nas and it's number two. Username admin good one. Okay let's see how this goes. I'm gonna keep this one on. It's probably totally destroyed all my configurations but yeah okay. Access build blah 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 blah. Okay. Pack it. Stop it! Yes, 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 go away. Okay. Let's see what it sees of disks. Have it destroyed it? Has it destroyed everything? It has. <sighs> so me picking the newest thing, uh, it has removed the 54 drives that I had installed here and it has gone back to the standard. Bummer! 
I must admit, I wasn't expecting to run into all these problems with this exponology and this server. Um, and now I would have to start all over and go in and configure exponology to see all 48, 54 drives and enable HSR again. And well, I think um, I think we will take a break from this. I think we will go and install um, server 2016 on this. Maybe uh, VMware and see if we can pass through the. Maybe install VMware and see if we can pass through the HBA card and have all the hard drives on a virtual machine. Could be interesting. It doesn't always turn out the way that you want it to. Sometimes it's just a drag. Um, and this is really one of them. Um, it gets tiresome to install this many times. I think uh, today I have used four hours pressing install and rebooting and pressing install and um, might have just been me being stupid that's always an option um, but yeah I think I think we will try something new and um, put this exponology on the back burner now that I have this HBA card in there that will just pass through all the hard drives to the operating system well it would be interesting to see Windows um, managing those drives as well maybe even be able to install the management software for the HBA controller and see what I could do that way this is kind of a bomber video sometimes it just doesn't do what you want it to right I hope probably all of us get that from time to time and you have to step back and do something else for a little bit and I thought I had done that I, I left this for a couple of months maybe a month and didn't do anything on it and when I came back to it it was just even more didn't want to cooperate with me even more I think we'll try and install server 2016 first and then we can experiment with VMware afterwards mm, I know yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of requests of what I should have installed on this yeah yeah leave it in the comments I will ignore you <laughs> no I'm I know you're gonna say that I should have installed FreeNAS and ZFX. Thank you very much. Oh, and Unraid. Yeah, I should have installed all three of those at the same time. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.